We are in Ukrainian Village. This house, this opportunity, fell into our laps. Ukrainian Village is a great neighborhood. It's full of a lot of the old workers' cottages, but the homes are a little bit smaller, and the people that live there appreciate that. So right now it's got two bedrooms on the main floor and then one bedroom and one bath upstairs. It's being priced at 650,000, which in my opinion is a fair price. Here it is. There are some bigger homes in this neighborhood that go for bigger money, but they're also wider lots. So we're probably gonna be the most expensive house on the street. Look at this little cutie. Yeah, it's got a lot of charm. I mean, this is one of the original cottages in Ukrainian Village. Yeah, I mean, this was 1891. So it's a single family, and then there's a renter, you said, on the bottom? The bottom's vacant. But Got it. It is set up as an apartment. Looks good. There's obviously things that, that we can clean up. Now, this is a uh, landmarked home. Yeah. A landmarked home is typically a home that is historically significant. So the people at Landmarks that work for the city of Chicago will give you the guidelines that you have to follow to make sure that the renovations and the design that you do to this home or building fit within the regulations that you need to follow. A lot of people are scared of these homes. To get into it. The curb appeal is what's selling me on it right now. Let's go in. Oh, and it gets more charming. I want to steal the fireplace. I want to marry it. <laughs> Come on, gray with the brass. This has to be original. Yeah. Pieces like this are what make this home charming. Just trim work too on the front bay window. Oh, the nice. whole thing, all that molding. I mean, this is funny because it's just this bedroom. The bed goes from wall to wall. You like jump in it. Oh my God, yes. This is the greatest trough sink I've ever seen. I mean, this has to be, this has to be original. This is super charming. And we're gonna keep this trough sink in here. Looking at these houses is like, it is speed dating. You judge everything about the house and the guy. As long as he's an eight, he's still dateable. If he stays in an eight, second date. The cool stops here, because this kitchen is broke. <gasps> Look at the chicken coop. Let's go say hi to the chickens. Look at the chickens. Do they eat apples? The I think they over. eat seed. Hi guys. Hey chicky chicky. Come on, let's leave them alone. Good backyard, great area, quiet. I don't know anything about chickens, but I know something about houses and I love this one. All right, let's go look at the basement. This is acting as kind of like a rental unit. Would you dig this out? Yeah. Obviously, I don't need a whole kitchen down here. I love this floor. Ceiling height wise is not appealing. Dig it out, build out a new bathroom, and we open this space up to be a true like rec room and maybe another bedroom. Let's go see upstairs. Oh, this is really different. Oh my God, there's coffee tubs everywhere. This one's awesome. So 650 plus the 350, and we're gonna sell for how much? 1,250,000. Okay, so, so that's $250,000. That's pretty good. Because there's so many little sweet spots in here and that it's so charming already, this one would be attention to detail like no other. Right. I love this house. Yeah. And this is a specific landmarked home. So the rules are a little stricter. Nothing's ever perfect. I'm finding all that out. We decided to go with Thomas. I love that it's this old historic landmark cottage. I love it so much that I'm willing and ready to go through the roller coaster of buying a historic landmark home. It's been eight months since we closed on this property and we haven't even been able to do demo due to the landmark committee because what they wanna make sure of is that the dormering that we're doing on the second floor will not be seen from the street side. That's a huge delay right there. Time is money. Sitting on a house for eight months doing nothing costs $10,000 just to sit. The good news at this point is everything worked out with the landmark office and we're able to start demoing, which is great. And we're gonna need to move pretty fast on this place. Today is demo day. I will say I love, love the floors. This is perfectly distressed. No, I know, but it's also perfectly uneven and just weird. As pretty as the old floor is, it's just not structurally sound. We're knocking these walls down anyway. We'll leave this. We, I do not want anything to happen to this. So this stays, this gets protected. Thomas is in a landmark division. We're not allowed to touch the front facade really at all. 
Fortunately for us, we love this facade. I mean, there's no reason to change this. We're gonna have tons of original stuff that we'll keep in here. So powder room is the place that I was really kind of concerned about. That stained glass is pretty cool. Yeah. Now, powder room doesn't need the tub. No. This too. So we'll clean this up and use this in the powder room. I gotta warn the guys to save this stuff. I do not want them ruining this. Kitchen, we demo the whole kitchen. We're not keeping any of this. The front elevation won't really change other than cleaning it up a bit and replacing the windows. Inside though, we're gonna gut it down to the floors and the walls and deconvert it to a single family home. We're also gonna triple the square footage by adding an addition to the back, dormering out the upstairs and digging out the basement. The main level will be open from front to back with each area defined as its own space with two arched openings. The living room and the front room is gonna feature the amazing original fireplace and a large coat closet right by the front door. The living room flows into the dining room, which is also where we're moving the powder room. Then an archway from the dining room leads into an airy chef's kitchen with a massive brass hood. And we'll have a walk-in pantry near the end of the island. A second archway will take us into the family room, which will have its own fireplace, along with the stairs leading down to the mudroom and the basement. Down there, we'll have not only a rec room and a wet bar, but another full bedroom and bath with garden views. On the top floor, the master bedroom will feature a cozy nook on one side, a walk-in closet, and a master bath with a double vanity. Plus, the rest of the top floor will give this house a total of four bedrooms and three and a half baths. So each level will get incredible upgrades, but with original and authentic designs that really preserve not only the history, but the feeling of this landmark home. We saved what we intended to save. The demo guys are gonna do the rest. The demo crew shows up, they're here to tear it apart. So we gotta really make it very clear what they should not be ripping apart. Protect this butte. We've got a lot more to save in this house than some of the others, so it makes me excited about the rebuild. At the price point that we're trying to hit, we really need to pretty much redo everything. We're taking this one down to the studs, so they're removing all the drywall, all the plaster, all the fixtures, everything. When they're done with it, inside it'll be a shell. Demo has gone well. So now we're gonna start rebuilding this home. We're extending the foundation into the backyard so we can build out and pouring a whole new basement floor. And then we can frame up the rear extension and raise trusses for the new floors. This is a huge addition and this is the biggest expense in this house. When you look at the exterior of Thomas, it is so ornate. I mean, it's an old cottage build. So that really is the inspiration to bring a more ornate approach into the pieces that I find. So beautiful. What is this? Heavily carved door. Price is right, that's for sure. I have actually been looking for a pantry door. So it's an old, old house. It's a landmark. What's the story with this guy? It's probably English originally. You see, it's all pegged and carved to death. It's unbelievable. 150, 200 years old and then it kind of got retrofitted over time. Have it to worked have great it. for you. Uh, this works great for me. <laughs> is that for real? It is. The door was 1800 Whoa. And now it's only 450 bucks? Well, this is mine. And I feel like this is just gonna tie in perfectly. Fantastic. Love this. So if that that's the pantry door, super ornate, but now I need to look for a fireplace surround for the back addition. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Drywall's up. Next step, we need to tape it. Typically, the hangers and the tapers are totally different crews. It's important to have good tapers. It's a big deal for us to get drywall done because after that, we can really fly. At the house, we are bricking up the new rear extension. We've got all the drywall up, so now we can lay flooring. We're getting all the tile work done in the bathrooms. And that's a huge project because we've got tons of tile in this house. While that's going on, I'm here at Urban Remains and I need to find stuff for my Thomas house. Thomas, thank goodness, has so much history on the exterior. Unfortunately, not so much on the interior. So I need to find some cool pieces. This could be cool for the secondary bathroom. It would just be painted to match the trim and then you would get this beautiful detail. I mean, look at this. All this is intact. All the lead and everything, everything looks beautiful. I love this.
Excuse me. Weighs a ton. Oh God. All right. Oh my God. How did you carry this by yourself? It's a heavy All right, one. don't do that. I need you. I need to take out an insurance policy on it. <laughs> That's cool, right? I don't really want to touch this. No. This door is going to add a ton of character to the pantry. It's old. It's the perfect size, and it's going to make a huge statement in this kitchen. Full backsplash coming in. Full backsplash is where it's at. I love this, guys. I didn't want it to be super busy on the backsplash. So all the countertops are the same material, and I just want it to go from the island to the back counters and flow all the way up to under the hood. All manufactured stone, so you get the look of marble and no maintenance. Come on, fit baby. I mean, Ari, this couldn't be more beautiful. Put it up. Ari, that looks so pretty. Cut it right. Every time you keep doing my mantles and stuff, I keep saying this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Look at this detail and look at how ornate all this is and then it goes right into beautiful, clean lines. Great mix of vintage and modern. I got the crown going up there. This all looks right. really good. I'll get this done in a little bit. And okay. Then, uh, I gotta put the arch cabinets in next. Okay. A broker found out about this listing and they are bringing their clients to meet us for a private showing. These buyers are specifically looking for a historical property, so hopefully this is a good fit. Cute little windows over there. With the original brick. This is just one of many buyers that we're showing the home to. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. What do you think of the outside? It's it looks gorgeous. Great. I love the stained glass. That's such a fun feature. I know. Well, that's original. This is a landmarked home, so those are special windows that replicate the actual look of what the window might have been. Oh, wow. It's getting dark out, so let's go around back so we can show you something fun. Now, whether someone wants a chicken coop or not, I love it. <laughs> OK, so a chicken coop. <laughs> there was one in this backyard when we bought it and it was not as pretty as this. It's very similar to this house, like a mini version. So that's like a chicken mansion. It's adorable. Uh, you wanna see inside? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. So pretty. This is gorgeous. gorgeous. So that is the original fireplace. We kept it intact. It's probably the reason I fell in love with the inside. This room was basically like this. But this entire home was totally gutted. We added this closet, which is great, as you know, for oh, winters. Wonderful. And, and then just kept this whole flowing area open. And now you have this beautiful, true dining room. The dining room is an established space because we created these arched openings. So it keeps your eye going and creates layers to the house. It just softens the space a little bit. Yeah. We relocated the powder room. This was the actual window. That's oh, wow. amazing. Isn't it cool? So we did LED lighting behind it and then just did the thin cut brick veneer. Mm. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the sink, original to that time that this was built. Oh, really? Yeah. So powder room right off the dining room. Dining room enters right into the kitchen. This range wall has become this beautiful focal wall the arched cabinets to the hood. There have definitely been homes where I think to myself, oh, we shouldn't have spent that money. But this hood is a centerpiece of this kitchen. You have an island that's gigantic. All of your appliances are hidden away with panels. Okay. Beautiful hardware. And then it gets even bigger when you think about this pantry. Wait, look at this door. Yeah. <gasps> that door is old. So that stained glass, I wanted to bring a little more stained glass in from the front door. Yeah. The powder room, mm -hmm. and it's just layered into the kitchen again. It looks like it's original to the house. Yeah, absolutely. Completely. So now you come in and you got more. It's almost like an extension of your kitchen. Tons of open shelving, really cool little wine bar slash butler's pantry. And then this light is actually from the Congress Theater in Chicago. Yeah. You've got your bar seating here. You've got dine-in nook with cabinetry flanking the sides of it. Informal or formal dining, you know what I yeah. mean? And then your next archway opens up into what is the actual addition to the house. To be able to have another fireplace, just look at this detail. All of the original carvings that are on this piece. Oh, wow. 